full Nintendo Direct leak and this Smash Brothers leak that predicted everything so far. What's happening my block buddies and welcome to a brand new spooky episode of Blocked Content's Leak Speak. My name is Callum and this is going to be your content for today. We're doing one of my favorite things ever and that is reading up about Nintendo Direct news, speculation, rumors and I totally love the idea of Nintendo bringing out these directs all this information in one place about every single one of their upcoming games and today we actually have some information about a supposed leak that jumped online and that actually talks about quite a lot of games but it's also very modest like it doesn't you know predict anything huge it's just very simple but there's a lot of things in here that I think are worth to talk about especially the final zinger here that is huge news and there's also some other piece of news another image that I get sent through discord by one of our blocked buddies and that actually shows a picture of the smash brothers characters for ultimate all being listed way before we knew all the characters in the fighters pass and of course even the fifth one that we don't even know anything about at this moment of recording so i want to dive into that here's something super cool because you all asked for it here is a q a show it is called Question Blocked, where I answer your questions about upcoming Smash Brothers fighters, my thoughts on maybe your favorite game, or questions about how to start on YouTube, pretty much anything that you can think of. So send your questions through to blockedcontentmail at gmail.com, and there's an episode coming really soon, so I'll answer your question live on the show in our next episode. And for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plus at 50k and this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt at 40k. So please hit that subscribe button right now because you could be chosen to win one of these items. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. The leak basically goes as followed. It says, got fired from Nintendo. And of course, a lot of people always use that phrase like, yeah, they got fired from Nintendo. So now they're going to leak some secrets. So yeah, there's a big chance that there's nothing legitimate to this, but I always like talking about these things because they bring up really great ideas, right? So basically it says got fired from Nintendo, so I'm going to leak some stuff, right? Direct on November 6th, 5 p.m. EST. Terry releases with the Direct and Doom Slayer is the Fighter's Pass number 5. It releases in January and the trailer is tied into Kid Icarus. Eternal and original outfit for Doom Slayer are alternate. Kid Icarus Uprising 2 for Nintendo Switch announced, coming in 2020. New Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, and this releases Holiday 2020. The Switch Pro is announced, and it's coming late 2020, runs most games in 1080p 60 frames per second, and is available for $400. Minecraft 2 teaser trailer, then a Xenoblade Definitive Edition releasing in June 2020, a new Assassin's Creed trailer or a new Animal Crossing trailer. It doesn't really say anything specific, but I do think that they probably mean Animal Crossing. Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 announced for Switch Pro. 3D World Port, May 22nd. GTA 6 announced. It is a Switch exclusive, no release date. Ends on Super Mario Galaxy 3 announcement for summer 2020. Now, of course, let's talk about this because the most obvious in the room here, well, one of the most obvious here, is that GTA 6 is coming as a Switch exclusive with no release date. I mean, that is just absolute bogus. I don't believe that for one second. I think that they will go multi-platform. They might even have a game on Switch, but I don't think that GTA 6 is a smart game to put on the Switch as an exclusive. Don't think that that will ever happen. So let's go through all the news here. Terry releasing with a Direct, that I actually think is a really great idea. If a Nintendo Direct comes out, I mean, the Super Smash Brothers website was down for a couple hours, which was strange. And of course, the YouTube channel of Smash Brothers supposedly has made an update. So we might have the Terry video in there. Does that mean there is a Nintendo Direct coming? Or does that specifically mean there's no Nintendo Direct coming and they just dropped that video, 
right? That is just going to be an in-between thing. So that's interesting to me. The Doomslayer dropping, of course, a lot of leaks, a lot of speculation, a lot of fake leaks talking about the Doomslayer. I think there's actually a huge chance for this character to drop in to Super Smash Brothers, but I don't know if he's the fifth fighter. It could be cool and it could finish off that first fighter's pass with a bang, right? <laughs> no pun intended. But I do think that the idea here to pair him up with Kid Icarus is interesting for a trailer, right? I mean, an angel and a doomslayer, I think that that's going to be a lot of fun to see in action, even if it's, you know, a very kid-friendly version of it. I think that that will have a lot of fun and a lot of humor injected into Doomslayer's trailer if that character comes to Smash Brothers. So this is what fans are going to be going crazy about. The eternal outfit, so the big armor, and the original outfit, so that little tank top thing with the exposed stomach, um, those are his alt. So that's going to be really cool. People get to choose their favorite Doom Slayer from, you know, the, the version that they might have grown up with. Maybe the newer one, or maybe the classic Doom, right? The sprite-based 3D game. It's really cool. So, Kid Icarus Uprising 2 for Switch announced. I think that this is insane. Um, if this would ever happen, I think that it would happen after a Super Smash Brothers game and not while we're still making it. Because that is a Sakurai property, right? That is a Sora limited game, Kid Icarus. So maybe another studio has grabbed it, but I do think that Sakurai really has a lot of love for the franchise. He put so much detail into that little 3DS game. It is packed with content, it's packed with game modes and with quality. I think that if they're going to do it, they'll have to do it with Sakurai and it's not happening anytime soon because Ultimate is in full swing. Right, I think even with DLC characters, it needs Sakurai's full attention because they're not just adding characters, they're doing music, they're doing game modes, they're doing all these crazy things. So yeah, I don't think that that's happening as well, but new Breath of the Wild 2 trailer, I feel is very, very likely for the next Nintendo Direct. I mean, yeah, we've all kind of wondered what would the next showing of Breath of the Wild 2 be? And I think that it might show a little bit of gameplay. It might show why this game is different from Breath of the Wild, or maybe it's just an addition, you know? Maybe it's the exact same, it has no new big mechanics, and it's just more of the same. I wouldn't want that. I really want something big and something different. So maybe we explore the underground of Hyrule. Maybe there's a new mechanic to Link. Maybe he has a lot of more stasis abilities. I think that there's something to be said for Breath of the Wild's great openness. But also, if I'm being brutally honest, and I think that this is an unpopular opinion, I think that the game might have been too big for its own good, and that a lot of people kind of were turned off by how huge that game was and not being able to finish it just because exploration is too much fun. So maybe we need a game that is not as hand-holding as Skyward Sword, but definitely a little bit more focused towards the main goal. Now, goes on to talk a little bit about something called a Switch Pro, which some people say that we already have, right? The second model of the Switch that runs a little bit better, that, you know, has a better charging time. Um, but they say Switch Pro is announced late 2020, runs most games in 1080p, 60 frames per second, 400 bucks. And later they even mention that there is a game coming to the Switch Pro which is crazy, right? Red Dead Redemption 2 and Cyberpunk 2077 announced only for Switch Pro. I don't think that Nintendo will ever do this. I think that they'll make a new console, a brand new thing, and that's gonna be uh, what's moving into the future, but that's not gonna happen anytime soon. I think that they just got the Switch Lite out. I think they have the new model of the Switch. They might do a Pro version, but that won't at all mean that there are specific games for that. They did it with the 3DS at some point, and they've probably learned from that mistake. The idea of Minecraft 2 coming, I think is really interesting. Um, I'm really curious what they could do with that game if they made a version 2, right? How, how much things can you add to a game where people basically make the game themselves? That's interesting. Xenoblade Definitive Edition, I'm hyped about. I mean, that trailer looked incredible. And I think that if we're going to see some more gameplay footage, we're really going to be blown away by how great that game already looked on Wii. I mean, a little bit rough around the edges is now going to look incredible, right? A new Animal Crossing trailer or Assassin's Creed trailer. It could be both, but it probably will be <laughs> Animal Crossing if this is real. Um, yeah, and I mean, at this point, we've seen so much to say that 
we know you're on an island. We know that you can make your own village, and that's pretty much it. You can craft materials. I really want to see why I should be getting this Animal Crossing game. Why is it so good? Show me new mechanics. Show me how big the game is. Show me all the things that you can do. So talking about a 3D world port, it doesn't even say Mario. It's just you guys know this, right? Um, so the idea here to port 3D world, I think it's a little past its due. A lot of people really want this still, but I think personally, people who wanted to have played it, bought the Wii U specifically for that game, or maybe even Zelda, stuff like that. I think that the Wii U game Super Mario 3D World was insane, pretty cool, I had so much fun playing it, but I think that if they're gonna focus on Mario, mainline Mario, 3D Mario, then we really need the sequel to Odyssey. And actually it talks about that. So it ends with Super Mario Galaxy 3 announcement for summer 2020. I think this would be an interesting way to go about Odyssey 2, just name it Super Mario Galaxy 3, Mario already is on the moon with Bowser at the end of that game, so maybe they move on from there, right? That could be really cool, but I do think that they'll probably do something brand new with Mario or do a direct Odyssey sequel. I think that there's a lot of people that can't wait for more Odyssey. So that's pretty much as far as this leak goes. I don't think that there's much credibility to this. Um, I actually wouldn't want there to be too much because, yeah, a lot of the stuff here doesn't make all that much sense. And I really wanted to pass this really quickly because a lot of you guys on Discord sent me this image and it actually is an anonymous post made on Friday, December 7th, and it says, and that's 2018 of course, Fighters Pass, Joker from Persona 5, revealed last night, Luminary from Dragon Quest XI, Erdrick will be an alt, Banjo-Kazooie from Banjo and Kazooie, Terry Bogard from Fatal Fury, and Chrono from Chrono Trigger. Now, it's pretty funny because there's Mega Man pulling the trigger. I do think that there uh, are ways to make these screenshots and kind of edit them. We've seen that in the past with people calling all the Smash Fighters, right? Oh, look at this old post that, you know, was there all along. And, it, you know, um, I think that if you're going to look up this um, and it still has these fighters, then it's going to be, you know, exploding the entire universe. Um, sadly, that's not the case. Um, so this person didn't correctly predict Luminary or Hero or Banjo-Kazooie or Terry and won't correctly predict Chrono. I think that there's a lot of precedent for Chrono. I would love to see that character and that design into the new era. But um, yeah, I'm not believing this one. So today is a day of slight disappointments in this world, right? I'd love to hear what you guys think of this. Let me know in the comments down below because your comment could actually be read out loud in our next video. Today's comment question is, do you believe any of today's leaks. I don't. I mean, let that be stated. A lot of people say that I immediately believe anything that I make a video on and proceed to not watch the video to listen to me talk about it. Um, but I just basically make them to have fun together to talk about things that could be. And some of the information in there could actually end up being true, but not just be virtue of it being an actual leak that is true, right? So if you comment down below, it could be featured in our next video. As for our previous comment question, our answer comes to us by way of user admin prone saying, there's definitely going to be a Direct in November. It's probably going to be the same as the Banjo Direct. What I think will happen is, Sakurai is demonstrating Terry, his moves and final smash, and then show off the King of Fighters stage. Then he teases us with the release date being the very same day. And then he says the classic, I have something to show you. Shows off fifth character and then talks about the fighters past two and maybe reveals the first character, which I doubt. Well, admin prone, thank you. Uh, I think that this is riding the money. This is something that they would definitely do. Show off Terry, show off his move. Sakurai is super proud of the way that they brought that character to life and the way that it moves, the stage, maybe even pieces of music. Maybe we get some update on that. I think that we might get some new game mode information. Maybe it's not huge. Maybe it's something like, oh, this mode can now be played online, like Squad Strike. I would love that. But I don't think it will be big in terms of game modes. And of course, being teased with the release date and then basically saying it's today. So <laughs> hop on your switches very soon and you'll be able to play as Terry. I think that that's definitely going to happen because it's time. We've seen the character in motion. We know that it's coming. And showing off the next fighter, I think I'm leaning towards maybe they tease it. 
maybe they don't show it because the Vitus Pass is finished, right? We need to know that there's more coming, but we don't necessarily need to be shown exactly who it is. I think that it'll be cool if there's like hints, if like Sakura starts going into the hint game. And of course, the Smash fan of me gets crazy as it is, it's going to be fun to see how quickly we solve those mysteries. So I think that that's a really great way to go for Sakurai. So thank you guys so much for sending in all your comments. I read through them. These are always so much fun to do. And of course, a huge shout out to our latest Patreon supporters who make block content possible. If you want to have yourself created in pixel art, join us for discussions or have your own ideas animated by me, go to patreon.com slash blocked content because there's a bunch of incredible rewards there and they're waiting just for you. And remember, if you're not yet a member of the blocked content family yet, don't worry, this family tree climbs up way high. So click the subscribe button right now. Ring that bell next to it so you get notifications every time we make a new video and all the news and fun you care about will be delivered on the daily to you. So thank you guys so, so much for watching. And of course, I'll see you around the corner where there's always more blocked content. See ya.